Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Hive. It's ages nine and up, two players, and it just takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The object of the game is to totally surround your opponent's queen bee while preventing them from doing the same to you. The pieces surrounding the queen bee can be made up of a mixture of both your pieces and your opponents. To begin, each person selects a color, white or black, and puts all the pieces in front of them. Then you just pick a player to go first. They place a, a tile in the center and the other person, person plays a tile adjoining that one. Now it's back to this player's turn and there are new rules for placement after the first two have been placed. Only for the first move can they be placed where you're touching a piece that's a different color. From now on, this player must place their new pieces, something like this or here or here, but they cannot place here where it's touching the white player's piece as well, or here, or anywhere around here. They can only do these spaces over here. So then it's this player's turn and the same thing. They're placing a piece here or here or here, but they cannot do here or anything where it's touching one of the black pieces. So we'll say they put it right here. It is possible to win the game without placing all of your pieces, but once a piece has been placed, it cannot be removed. Placing your queen bee is a key strategic point of the game. You must place this queen bee by your fourth turn. So it can be, it does not have to be on your third turn. If you haven't placed it by your third turn, you have to place it on your four, fourth turn. So this player is choosing to place the queen bee now. And what this does is from now on, instead of just having the option of placing a, a tile, once the queen bee is placed, you have the option of moving a previous place tile or placing a new one. Okay, so it's this player's turn and they're going to choose to not place their queen bee this turn. And it's back to this player's turn and they could choose to move these, but they're not because I want to explain how those all work in a minute. So they're going to place another this person's turn and they are finally going to choose to play their queen bee. So it's back to Black's turn. I'm going to scooch these just a little bit. And I'm going to show how all of the different pieces work. Each of the different uh, bugs out here move in a different way. The queen bee is very simple. It can only ever move one spot. And a key part of this game is that they always move in a sliding way. So you don't pick them up and just place them. You have to be able to slide them out from a spot and move them to another spot. Next up, we have the beetle. Let's say we move on a couple turns and they place this here and he placed this here. So it's back to White's turn. And the beetle can only move one space per turn like the queen bee. However, that includes getting to move on top of the hive. It is the only uh, insect that can move on top of the hive in this game. On future turns, it can choose to move on top of its opponent's pieces. Uh, and for sake of placement rules, now this piece underneath is the same color as this piece up here. So this player wouldn't be able to place a piece in here because uh, this piece is now white. Similarly, this piece can now drop into places that with the normal rotating rule, nobody would be able to fit to slide into that middle spot. However, this piece can drop down into it from above, so that is a permitted movement for it to do. A piece underneath the beetle cannot move, so if it had moved over on top of this piece over here, this player cannot then choose to move this piece and have the beetle going along for the ride. It is stuck in its spot. Also, yes, other beetles can move on top. So if this piece ended up here at some point and this player wanted to move it on top of this one, he could. In fact, you can have all of the beetles, in theory, if you got them in place, they could all end up stacked up on top of each other. And please note, when this beetle was first placed, it was placed in the same manner as all of the other insects in the hive. Uh, you cannot place it on top of pieces and give it a head start. It needs to be placed on the table with everything else. Okay, so we'll say the beetle 
just moved over one and that was it for its turn. Now we're gonna talk about the grasshopper. The grasshopper does not move around the outside of the hive like the other creatures. Instead, it jumps from its space over any number of pieces, but at least one, to the next unoccupied space along a straight row of joined pieces. Uh, so if it was this person, they would potentially be able to jump from here into this spot by the queen, which would be really helpful. However, what comes into play here is the one hive rule. And if moving a piece, for instance, this grasshopper, if you wanted to have him jump from here to here, uh, there is now, the queen is no longer attached to the hive. So he would be stuck here and you couldn't move him. This would be his legal spot, but in order to be able to move him, you would have had to have another piece placed somewhere, like have this one placed here, and then this person went and they placed another one. And then on this player's turn, if they wanted to have him jump, he could jump over here and uh, this is all still connected and so that would be okay. And the, the placement rules only count when you're first initially placing your pieces. Then you need them to be touching other colors in order to get to the queen bee and to surround it at the end. So now it's white's turn and they also might want to move the grasshopper. He can hop in and fill this space that you wouldn't be able to have a piece slide in to. So it's actually quite the advantage to be able to hop on in from the top. You fit just fine and he would be able to go there. The spider moves three spaces per turn, no more, no less. It must move in a direct path and it cannot backtrack on itself. So you can't have it go one, two, and then go back one because you want it to end up here. It goes one, two, three would be where this one would end up if it chose to move. The spider also cannot move across to a piece that it is not in direct contact with, which I'll show here with the queen bee. This player might want to move the queen bee over here, but you can't make that move because it's just dangling in space. It has to be connected to a piece the entire time that it is moving. And finally, we have the soldier ant. We'll just go ahead and have white place a soldier ant on their turn and then it's black's turn and the soldier ant can move from its position to any other position around the board as long as it follows the basic rules of not separating the hive and not going across an open space where they're not connected so you he can move all the way around to here because he's in contact with pieces the whole time um, and that would be a permissible move for him. Here's what the end of a game might look like. It is White's turn, and yes, technically they should move out this piece and keep it away from their queen, but at this point I've decided White is losing, so I'm just gonna have them move this one right here instead, and Black is gonna finish off the game by moving their soldier ant over here, and he has completely enclosed the other player's queen bee. It is okay that one of them is of the other color. It's just if the queen bee is completely encircled, game over for this color, uh, black won the game. Sometimes you have a situation where a player can neither place a new piece or move an existing piece they already have on the board. That means that it just, you skip their turn and play goes back to their opponent who gets to take their turn again. And you continue the game in this way until the other player is able to move or place one of their pieces, or if they just lose and their queen bee is surrounded. So that's how to play Hive. If you like this game, it's going to become your new go-to travel game. Tile pieces, super portable, engaging gameplay. It's just incredibly spot on for that. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother. Mm -hmm.